Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing Spectacular Sparky for the Nintendo Switch. Now if we just start with the basics, this game is a retro-styled run-and-gun shooter. It was released on October 20th of 2021, and it currently sells for $14.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now the game was published by Nicalis and it has a download size of 537 megabytes. Now the question we're going to try to answer in today's review is does this game live up to its name and is it actually a spectacular adventure? Well, let's find out. And don't forget that if you do like what you see, to consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. you never seen a man scoop the fleshy remains of his dignity into 48 tons of rock hard military grade weaponry. If we start with the storyline, you're playing as Sparky, a mutated gene spliced rabbit bounty hunter out to make a fortune by catching the galaxy's biggest and baddest criminals. As he makes his way from bounty to bounty, unknown to him, he will uncover the mysteries of his origins. Not really that he cares, however. The sarcasm and humor present all throughout the game is very reminiscent of the over-the-top antics of 90s classics like Earthworm Jim or Battletoads. Furthermore, what was highly unexpected were more than a dozen fully voice-acted cutscenes, and I must say, although a few performances maybe went a tad into cheesy territory, the vast majority were very funny and really helped you get lost in the game. Now most of these cutscenes are more about selling you on Sparky's personality as a sarcastic, self-diagnosed sociopath with an overinflated ego than actually telling you a story, but they fit in perfectly with the vibe this game is setting up. The cast of supporting characters here are also very fitting, whether it be his confidant, the half-pig, half-shark named Shig, his rival bounty hunter, the jetpack-wearing fox Nightshade, or even the insane bosses like Space Badger, the robot Tyrannosaurus-riding Badger. Everything here is about insane, over-the-top fun. Now, onto the gameplay. This game offers 25 levels, split over four major chapters. The levels are fairly short and fast-paced, forcing you to balance run-and-gun mechanics with platforming over gaps and obstacles. Each level also ends in a boss type encounter with off the wall designs that go from weird to totally bonkers. The majority of the gameplay throughout the game is that of a run and gun shooter, very reminiscent of genre staples like Gunstar Heroes, however with a slightly heavier focus on platforming in certain sections. There is however a decent variety of gameplay types with certain levels shifting to a side-scrolling shoot-em-up format, or riding a jet ski, and yes, even eventually piloting the previously mentioned robot Tyrannosaurus. Basically, this design reminds me a lot of games like Battletoads, that shake up the format every few levels to keep things fresh before jumping back into its staple gameplay style. What surprised me is how well the game performs and emulates each one of these styles and naturally flows from one to the other, setting an adrenaline pumping pace that keeps you on your toes. The difficulty progression is also handled quite nicely, with the first two chapters offering little resistance at the normal difficulty, allowing you to get your bearings before shifting into high gear for the last two. If I had one complaint to make, the shoot 'em up levels felt a little too easy compared to the surrounding levels even towards the end of the game. Four basic difficulty levels are offered, ranging from easy to nightmare. And upon successful completion of the main campaign, an alternate frenzy mode unlocks that shifts many of the gameplay mechanics offering a new experience. Overall, there is a vast amount of replayability here for challenge seekers. Now if we discuss the controls. First of all, the controls are very tight and responsive, something that is required for a game of this type and is delivered nicely. Firstly, I'd like to mention you have the option to use the left joystick or the D-pad for that extra retro feeling, which is a nice addition. Secondly, for the general run and gun sections, you will have to balance three meters at the top left. Your life meter, which can be replenished by picking up stars dropped by fallen enemies. Your stamina, which powers your limited abilities like dashing and flapping your ears for limited flight. 
Lastly, your heat meter, where if built up too highly, will destroy an upgraded weapon or temporarily incapacitate your base weapon. The action is frantic and fast-paced, and getting used to the five weapon types and when to use them is a must. Sparky can carry two types at a time and swap with a press of the L button. Platforming is accomplished by balancing jumping with the limited ear flaps you have to gain either height or distance. The previously mentioned dash is also extremely important, rendering Sparky temporarily invulnerable and allowing him to pass through enemies, projectiles and even certain obstacles. Also in the toolkit is holding down the ZR to lock in place and fire in any direction, or ZL which will allow you to run while firing in the opposite direction. Lastly, you can collect armor upgrades which offers damage reduction based on a percentage from 0 to 200. However, every hit you take reduces this number and increases the damage taken from all future sources. That is, at least till you can find another upgrade. If all this feels like a lot, it actually meshes together very naturally and cohesively, especially with the first two chapters easing you gradually into the action. On a side note, the side-scrolling shoot-em-up levels are fairly simpler, dropping both the need for balancing the heat and stamina bars and offering unlimited firing of your weapon, however, limited only to your standard fire. Overall, this is a very well-balanced and designed toolkit, offering you everything you need to face the challenges the game throws at you. I was incredibly impressed with how satisfying the control scheme feels. Now, on to the graphics and sound. If you grew up with a Sega Genesis, you will quickly feel at home with the visual design of the game and once again reminds me very much of the type of sprites and colors you would see in something like Gunstar Heroes or even Dynamite Heady. However, with even crazier and more zany designs, really milking the crazy mutated space alien style. Performance is great, with no stutterings or slowdowns I could perceive. Another element that would be unforgivable in a game like this. The sound design is once again very Mega Drive-esque feeling, basically very 16-bit. Even though the soundtrack was enjoyable and contributed to the pace and immersion, I find that the star of the show were rather the sound effects of gunfire and explosions, added to the voice acting being really top-notch for a $20 game. I do feel, however, that leaning so heavily into the Genesis or Mega Drive style will be a hit or miss element for many people. But be assured, if this is your wheelhouse, it is executed as well as could be. All that training, all that killing, and I lose to you? Lose? Nice shit. So now, for the verdict. And if you're unfamiliar with my grading scale, you can take a quick look in the description of the video down below. And in the case of Spectacular Sparky on the Nintendo Switch, I'm going to be giving this game a 9, putting it on the low end of an excellent game. Now this game set out to really live up to the standards of the old school 90s run and gun shooters, and that's exactly what this game does. With amazing fast paced run and gun action that is quite on par with the classics like Gunstar Heroes. Add to that, the numerous fully voiced over cutscenes, it really delivers on the 90s over the top humor. And it really reminded me of the sort of over the top storytelling that we were used to seeing in series like Battletoads and Earthworm Jim. Not only that, but for a $20 price tag, already with a great first time experience, this game is offering a ton of replayability. And not only through difficulty increases, but actually two brand new modes, which are the time attack mode and the frenzy mode that each in itself really flips up the general gameplay. And lastly, just to top it all off, they're also offering easier accessibility modes and infinite lives, which are modern options that really at least makes this game accessible to even to someone who would be new to the run and gun genre. Overall, I just think this is a must have game for anyone who's aching to be thrown back to those 90s great action titles. So now I throw the question back to all of you. Do you think you'll be picking up Spectacular Sparky? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, on the way out, don't forget, as I said earlier, if you did like the content, please consider hitting that like button, 
and subscribing to the channel if you aren't already, hitting that notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video. Most parking tickets ever to be dished out to a single game. Careful, shitty boy. Someone might put a bounty on your head. <laughs> they ain't got nothing on me. It's all on Paro's black and white shoulders. Firebird is big! You're damn right. Why, it's almost as big as a battleship or something. A real big battleship. <laughs>